the Lord became my protector. He brought me out to a place of freedom. He saved me because he delighted in me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my previous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Jude. Beloved, remember the words spoken beforehand by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Build yourselves up in your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God and wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. On those who waver, have mercy. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. On others, have mercy with fear, abhorring even the outer garment stained by the flesh. To the one who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you unblemished and exultant in the presence of his glory, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority from ages past, now, and for ages to come. Amen. The word of the Lord. Our responsor of song. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you, my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsty for you, O Lord. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As the riches of the banquet shall be my soul, shall my soul be satisfied, and with exalted lips. My mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsty for you, O Lord, my mouth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, 
By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why would you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, they feared the crowd, for they all thought that John was really a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Do initials representing various degrees earned do stripes representing various ranks do signs of authority represent true authority and that's the real question that we have today being posed to Jesus. By whose authority? Because you're doing something not in line with the normal protocol. And we looked at it, we have a very sarcastic way that we express that same idea nowadays. And you, I'm sure everybody here has heard it. We might have even said it, but the statement is, who died and made you king? Why do I have to listen to you? I know growing up, uh, when my sister would have to take care of me, my parents left, my sarcastic response well, you're not my mama, or you're not my daddy. Why should I have to listen to you? We have that rebellious streak in us. And it really is an aspect of pride, where we think we are the expert because of our limited life experience or because of our limited knowledge, then we are an expert. Our society takes it to a further degree. I have watched videos, because I don't watch them uh, live, but videos of situations where they will bring in an actor or actress who played a role of a scientist or of a politician, and they will ask them questions as if portraying that role makes them an expert on that subject. So, you portray the scientist, then what do you think about these scientific discoveries or these scientific theories? Oh, well, in my Experience says portraying it, a scientist, I know this. We would all chuckle at that, but sadly, we have almost been indoctrinated to believe such things. True authority is not based in rank when it comes to our spiritual life. Because an authority figure would be someone that we could also look up and say, well, you know what, that person possesses some wisdom. May not always use it, but again, they may. So we have to look at people who are wise. 
these type of inspirational religious figures and listen to them and get the good that they received. And the greatest thing we can do is go back and reread the New Testament, reread the Gospels, reread St. Paul. Where but the Word of God in the person of Jesus can we find the greatest of all authority upon God and moral Christian living? By whose authority? His fathers. And therefore we should listen. So go back and reread sacred scripture. I say that to you, I say that to me. And then we can take time and learn from the Master. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of those who will watch this Mass on video and the needs of you here present this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all young men who will be ordained to the priesthood and diaconate this summer throughout the world for the various dioceses. May God bless them in the ministry they will offer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, let us pray for the Hinsterling family for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer in honor of the most blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed are you, God. God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be offered to God, the acceptable Father. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant us as the source of merit, may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, God, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, in your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. But I will say the word in my soul. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Sing songs to the name of the Lord most high. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, Lord, our angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the the devil. May God be you, can we humbly pray. And if you, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power, rest in the hell, set in all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises, blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, who 